So, what's up guys, it's Anthrax and I'm just here to show you a quick um, tutorial tip on how to overclock your um, AMD graphics card just to get the most out of it, I guess that you can using the Radeon um, Crimson software. So basically we, we're here on my desktop and if you have already uh, Radeon Crimson software installed then you just want to look to the bottom right hand corner where you see this Radeon settings button thing. Just double click that for yourself there, let me just expand this. And here we are. The, this is the front page of it, the Radeon Crimson um, look is extremely extremely cool as you can see they have some type of like advert thing going on here then you can choose all your gaming your video um, default cinema classic you can choose all this type of stuff for your graphics card display even eye affinity so if you have some more screens than one unfortunately I just have one but that's fine I guess as well so basically what you want to do is you want to go to the bottom tab and you want to click gaming and this is where you find all your games installed so I have like 7 days to die, come strike um, this type of stuff so basically what you want to do is click on the global settings after you've clicked on the global settings you'll see this will show you what um, your levels and like graphics performance for your games are in general though. As you can see we have three bars at the top here. What we want to do is click on Global Overdrive. So this will bring up the current um, performance of the card that you're running. So for example I have an AMD R7 360 series uh, which is a 2 gig GDDR5 card and basically now that we're in the screen you can see your GPU clock, your power limit and your memory clock which mine is currently at 1800 MHz and the fan speed. So basically what you want to do is if you have a look here on this uh, grid table, if you drag over let's say the CPU clock, GPU sorry, if you drag it over then the performance level goes up. This is basically saying that you are overclocking the GPU clock. So I'm just going to leave mine at plus 3% just in case. Um, okay, so I'm just going to leave mine at plus 3% just for the time being, as well as you have your power limit and your memory clock. The fan speed is on auto at the moment. If you'd like to change it from auto, you can just unclick the button there and then select whichever power uh, fan speed you'd like. So I'm gonna just put mine to auto there. Let's change it back actually to 30% auto. Okie dokie. So if you wanna upgrade the uh, memory clock, you just uh, drag this little thing over to you can put on your maximum if you like. I wouldn't recommend just going on full blast at the moment if you're not really sure about uh, overclocking and all that. So I just keep mine at a steady uh, 1800 thereabouts uh, GPU clock plus 3% and the power limit I haven't really played around with but yeah. There you go, and th I have seen some improvements for uh, gameplay so for example I play uh, Rust or even GTA 5 and when I do overclock it you can see quite um, an increase in frames, so I'd say about maybe up to 10, 10 frames extra from overclocking it to the max for example. But yeah, this is just to sh give you guys an idea of where to find the um, overdrive facility or um, settings I guess if you could say, in the Radeon Crimson settings. So you just go to global settings as I said before, glo to global overdrive and then you can mess around with your things. And once you have changed something, you just want to click apply and there you go, it's all done for you. Then exit and you're good to go. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to check out my CPU overclock uh, tutorial, there will be a link in the description. Otherwise, that was me.